Now we looked at the law of diminishing marginal utility in the previous video, right? Just to recap, the law says that as the consumer consumes more and more units of a particular commodity, the additional satisfaction that he receives from each and every additional commodity keeps on decreasing, right? Now there are certain fundamental assumptions which are necessary before the law of diminishing marginal utility can prevail. So we will look at all these one by one. The first one is that the commodity should be homogeneous. Homogeneous commodity is that the commodity should be same. Homogeneous means same. So let's say for example, we were talking about ice creams. Okay, we said when you eat ice creams, the first one gives you more satisfaction, the second one less, the third one even lesser and the fourth one even lesser. Now let's say for example your favorite ice cream is a choco bar. Okay? But to begin with you were given a mango ice cream. Okay? If the commodity is not homogeneous it might just be that the first one may give you 50 units of satisfaction but because you like the second one this may actually give you 100 units of satisfaction. Right? So the commodity has to be homogeneous. If it is not homogeneous, if it is not same, this law may not prevail. The second one, standard unit of measurement. When we are measuring the quantity, we should be using the standard unit of measurement. What does this mean? This means that you cannot use irrational units of measurement. So let's say for example, as you are eating rice, you can't measure it in grams. Should be in kilograms. For purchase of gold or diamonds, the consumption cannot be measured in kilograms. That's not the normal commodity which is used. You have to use the standard unit, right? Third, the mental or social condition normal. It's assumed that as you are going through each of these consumption, your mental and your social conditions are normal. What does this mean? If suppose you have a choco bar or if suppose you have a mango, you are very sad it's likely that you may not get actually this 50 units of consumption as well. You might just get 30. Right? While, while you were having this, suddenly your results were declared. It was told that you've secured 95%. You're very happy. So the satisfaction you get from the second one is even higher. So your mental and social conditions are assumed to be normal. And the last one is continuous consumption. There should be a normal gap, the time gap between the first and the second, the second and the third, and the third and the fourth should not be there. Or if it is there, it should not be very large. So let's say for example, if you have one ice cream in the morning and second in the afternoon, it might just be that because in the afternoon it is very hot, okay, you might just enjoy the second one more. So the consumption has to be continuous, right? With this assumption, the law of marginal utility, the law of diminishing marginal utility will stay. Okay? We hope you like this video. If yes, you can subscribe to our channel to stay aware of many more of these videos which are coming. You can also like this video and you can visit our website www.iadiobook.com for hundreds and thousands of videos on various subjects. Thank you very much for being with us today. We look forward to seeing you in many more future lectures.